Oh, that music, music to our ears. <laughs> that is true. Chef Steven Gonzalez with HEB joining us back on the show this morning. Now, Look before the break, we had some mustard sauce, roasted chicken with purple, purple potatoes. potatoes, which was yes. amazing. <laughs> I guess now you could say we're moving on to like our main course. Okay. We're okay. doing some uh, swordfish. We're doing a little bit of some purple asparagus. I, I don't okay. know why I'm on a purple kick today, purple you know? Kick. I'm into it. I'm a little exotic. <laughs> um, and all I'm doing is I'm stuffing the swordfish with a little bit of some feta. We're making a little oh. pocket in there. And we're topping it off with a little bit of our Colombian salsa, our Jimenez Salsa Criolla. Mm. Now, what I like about this, it's bright, it's kind of uh, sweet, it's kind of acidic, so it's very well balanced. Now, that feta cheese is going to kind of tone it down with that saltiness and complement it really, really well. Now, going over that, we got a little bit of the, the purple asparagus. Mm -hmm. We just got a little bit of some uh, spinach, maybe some uh, baby tomatoes, because I like all that stuff. Now, when you buy <laughs> the uh, Colombian <laughs> salsa, you're going to get one of our brand new Montana Mex seasonings. Now, there's three different ones today. I brought two of them with me. So, the swordfish was seasoned with that chili salt. What I really like about it is that it's, uh, you get that chili flavor, but you don't get that spice kick out of it. Okay. Yeah. You know, very versatile, great seasoning, and that's all we did. So moving on, now that it's hot, of course, one of my favorite desserts is uh, mm -hmm. some just fresh fruit, you know? Fresh fruit is easy. Now, again, one of the free salts is our sweet sugar salt. Mm -hmm. It's a combination of orange peel, some cinnamon, some salt, sugar, um, coriander, a bunch of different great seasonings. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to smell that first. All right. It smells amazing. I was geeking out over that earlier this morning. Ooh, <laughs> that really actually good. has cinnamon and ginger. Yep. What, what I like about it is the sweetness from it actually makes a really good sear if you put it on top of chicken, even some, some salmon. It's crazy because those sugars caramelize and, it, oh, yeah, just do that. Yeah, there you go. Dumping it don't, in there. Yeah, don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, we're just putting it over fruit, you know. Again, you could put that with your popcorn. You could put it on your chicken. Man. And it's almost like you're getting them, like, at the fruterias, except the difference is normally they do a little bit of chili powder. So I figured let's switch it up a little bit. Make it, you know, yeah. full dessert, you know? Well, if they want to find these, if they want to find you, where can they find you? So, again, come see me there at HB. They're off the Loop 250. When you're going up to the right-hand side of the store by produce, seafood, bakery, and all that, come find me at the Cooking Connection. Again, I'll show you how to make all this this coming weekend. Um, let me show you, again, how to save time and money in the kitchen without breaking the bank. That's important. Once I like again, that. there's not a thing here this morning that I did so not good. enjoy. We have the best jobs, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Yeah.